and we'll be right back on VNF. Uh, we got more to come, so stick around. Just a short commercial break. from you in uh nine months Jeez. <laughs> hello some moments change your life san andreas telephone for those difficult conversations wow Logger. pizza but when it comes to numbing my mind I Patriot. I drank the beer that brought the forest down. I'm a lager man. And with the new 80 bottle trunk pack, you've got enough for the evening. Last night, I crapped in my bed and pissed in the closet. It's half the hour somewhere. Lager brings out the Patriot in you. I'm hungry for something different. Snack on something else. The front is white and pure. You'll love which side drive. Zebra bar. It satisfies your exotic cravings. Whatever they are. Mouth. And we're back on BNR Radio. Uh, that was a word from a couple of our awkward sponsors. Uh, but I may also mention some sponsors that are not. Uh, you haven't heard yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, we are sponsored by sponsored by Applebee's of Independence. Applebee's. We're not just a bar. We're family. And uh, also Seven Hills Dairy Queen Brazier. It's not fast food. It's fan food. And uh, that's all I like to say. Uh, two great establishments. Uh, one may argue one's better than the other. I'm not going to say which. Uh, but these are some great, 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 great places to eat. And let me tell you, their food is amazing. Not just the half-price apps at, uh, at Applebee's, but the uh, snack ma snack wraps at, at Dairy Queen are to die for. And I mean, you may die from them <laughs> uh, to die for. Um, but thank you for the sponsors for uh, getting us through this radio show. And uh, yeah. Let's continue. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for those great messages. Uh, for all you fans of BitTorrent, uh, they are reintroducing the BitTorrent bundle as BitTorrent Now. And they're also adding a streaming apps for mobile. So if you're uh, interested in BitTorrent or anything of that nature, you might want to go check that out. Um, they said that should be starting within the month. And look out for more updates on that. I'm not saying don't illegally download stuff, but if you're gonna illegally download stuff, illegally download uh, our uh, our webcast here, which will probably be made available soon after. So. And uh, some news out of Steam, the gaming community: uh, digital distribution platform not allowing gifting of Counter Strike during summer sales. A spokeswoman for the game's developer, Valve. Uh, said historically people purchase copies for themselves outlets have reported this in an attempt to crack down on players using alternate accounts uh, I'm not a big, big gamer myself this is an anti smurfing uh, uh, officers report issue. A so this in this would be something more in a robs okay so taste, let me ex so. explain to Go you ahead what this give is. us what you think about this all right so from what I understand is there's this thing called smurfing, and it may sound stupid because the name, but like, honestly, I don't even know what it is, why it's named that. But the name's beside the point. Smurfing is when you have a second account. Say if you have a main account that uh, you would level up in this game or rank up uh, to a certain level, then you're saying, okay, well, I'm gonna be playing hard people. But it, since you're that technically, you're like that level, you're that good. Buying a second account, uh, buying a second like version of the game. And play on a second account you play against worse people so you're basically the same skill level playing against worse people since that account isn't upgraded all the way that's called smurfing so uh if there's a smurf in your game it's someone that's really good playing on like a really bad account 
and this is annoying for like new players because they uh they're playing against people not in their skill group they're playing people that are a lot better than them and which is not what the game is meant to be is you're meant to play against people that are on your skill level and this 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 non-trading issue is meant to crack down on the people that are going to buy a second account uh, just because it's on sale, since the Steam Summer Sale is going on right now. And uh, if you have not checked that out, and if you're into gaming, uh, specifically PC, that is something to check out, since pretty much every single game is going to be on sale. At, if not at one point during this week or so that it'll be going on. And Counter-Strike is, is one of these games where that happens, smurfing. And this is Steam's step to get rid of it since a lot of people in the community of Counter-Strike have been complaining about this for many times. They've th tried multiple times to... The like most recent attempt was having uh, premium accounts. So it's basically you add a phone number to your account. So that way, uh, like, it's kind of a poor attempt since you can get multiple SIM cards. But, like, you're connecting a phone to your account. So that way... Uh, like, you only play against other people that also have phones, like, attached to their account, and event they're assuming, like, you won't have as many phones to connect your phone numbers to if you have a Smurf. So, like, if you have a Smurf, you have two, you'd have to have two phones to play in the same thing. So, but that's basically what Smurfing is and what Steam is trying to do to stop it. Very good. Um, I'll say, I'm sure a lot of people know that the E... Uh... Britain has left the EU. Ooh, yes. And it's already, reports are already coming in. The Dow Jones futures dropped more than 700 points. Jeez. Uh, this is really taking a rock, um, hitting a rock here with the uh, world financial markets. Uh, the dollar fell and the euro weakened as a, uh, from this happening. Oh, I, uh, I'm seeing so here it, that. It's not going to be a good weekend for the stock markets. No, it If will anyone's not. into that. Uh, and one major thing I just saw was uh, the the pound, the British currency, hit a low that was achieved back in the 1980s, like the biggest low in a while, which is uh, this is gonna be a tough week. Um, but the experts in in a uh, pretty reliable uh, internet personal finance group have been saying to. Uh, do not sell your stock. Do not sell your stock. Well, it looks like we're going to be going back to... Com uh, we have more, a little bit more than we have our chapter of the week, so... Stick around. If only the world was less like this. I could use a smoke. Hey, put that out! And more like this. It uses smoke. Unless you kill first. If you're around a smoker, you will die. Smokers may look relaxed and like they're having fun. Don't believe it. Vote yes on Proposition 421. Let Let's outlaw smoking everywhere, even in people's homes. Let's live in a world without smoke. Let's prove it. Let's move up the food chain. It's time to smoke the smokers. Vote yes on position 421. I miss little Vincent so much. He loved to play. I guess I was busy making eyes at the guy. We've got an officer in need of assistance. And Puerto del Sol. Units respond code three. Uh, honey, this is hair oh, black. That's not the point. We're lucky he was adopted. So we just got another. It's my life, and I don't want to forget anything. Documenting every moment of life is very important. Take plenty of pictures of your wife. You never know when she might leave you for another man. It's important. And use Fakari film when. Sort of. Tomorrow. Beauty is remaining. Oh, and sweet. I need designer. It needs me. Shine. Buy helmet shine. Helmet shine is a fantasy. Helmet shine is a. Helmet shine is you. Is you. If you shine. desire. I'm an individual. I, I love I'm the right. space between your ears. Being Advertising. Shine. Let the children. Die. Tomorrow. 
I'm the white What's red. What's your I name? Black and Fury. You're beautiful. That's enough. Shine. Buy helmet shine. And we're back. He's been And we're back here on Los BNR Radio. Oh. Um. And so we are gonna get kicking in right here to our Officer child report, predator of the week. Oh, so we're gonna airport. see Shots fired. what we came up with. Um. Uh. In. I, I've, I'll start it off with something on the lighter side, because I know this may be a dark subject for some of you. Uh, there is this, I wouldn't say it's viral since it's been out for a while, but there's this funny video called The Sex Offender Shuffle. Uh, it kind of relates, since this is a sex offender uh, um, event, not event, but uh, Officers report how would I say? It is a, Los Santos International. It's a sex offender show, and... It's a funny video that makes fun of this, and I would recommend that you guys check it out. But uh, back into the serious, uh, continue, Bill. My bad. No, no, no. You're fine. Letting those people know. All right. Our main man of the week is Daniel J. Sulenskiak. His charges include statutory sexual assault. He is 31 years old, male, white height 5 feet 9 inches weight 130 pounds and brown hair and brown eyes he lives in north royalton ohio so if you see our main man daniel once you give him a slap across the face from old dnr radio and if you want to go check out the top 10 dance songs in the 1990s you want to head over to our web page you can check that video out you leave us some comments tell you what you think um, I think, do you have any more here, uh, Rob? Uh, I think we're coming I, towards the end of our show here. I, my last, uh, my last thing for the, the sex offender, um, is Dixie Normus. Uh, he's a convicted of, uh, spying on children in a, uh, in a playground. He would, he would look through the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the hole in the fence. And this was uh, this is pretty comical since the the police found him. He was using that fence as a glory hole, and uh, it might it was a very awkward situation, which just ended up turning out very funny. Not not funny, but how they found him out, which is pretty comical. But uh, Dixie Normus, he was uh, he was caught, and he will pay the time. All right. Well. Uh... Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he uh, went down well, with a with a splash. Would you say? <laughs> um. Well, this is our final uh, final segment here. Uh, this is just we're gonna give a shout out to a couple people here. Uh, Diane R from Strongsville, Gary F from Newburgh Heights. Annabelle C from Seven Hills, and uh, do you have any uh, couple shoutouts? Yeah, I would like to shout out uh, Alfred Kahalik, um in uh, Middleburg Heights. Um, uh, there's one more, but I can't remember, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'll bring it up next show. I'll make up for it, but that was the only one. Alfred Kahalik. good old Alf, alcoholic, and. Uh, this is uh, Rob signing out. This is Bill signing out. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see y'all next week.
This has been BNR Radio. Radio. We need to hear the good old Huey Lewis in the news. I'm a patriot American. That's my national right.